Yay. <laughs> you saved it at the very end. I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> well, you pulled it out. That's the main thing. Because you, you did not want to be at, at Lakeside with the butter knife right now. It would not be too fun. That was a good save, man. That was a good save. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Have I showed you the uh, military silo where you can get weapons like guns and stuff? No. Okay, so I'll do that since we're out here. All right, so. Um, I can drop you some of that ammo if you wanted it back, cause no. I uh, I bought two things of it. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, so if you look at the the map right now, I went ahead and marked. Uh, on military grain silos. If you just pull it up, it's going to be directly to the left of us. See the marker over there? Okay, yeah. Now the, the key. Hard one. Yeah. Now the key is it'll spawn some random loot, but to actually get some of the other weapons, you have to capture the territory. So with you being in uh, a different tribe than myself we won't be able to uh, capture it together so what we'll do is we'll go down there I'll let you capture it the guns will spawn I'll just stay right outside the zone and then um, anyway it'll it'll kind of show you that and like there said the nether surge is underway I always just double check so I know if it's going to be anywhere in between where I'm going normally out here there's two golems And since we have bro max and max stamina, we can just sprint on out there. It's it's literally just right out here, so it's not far at all. Uh, it's a little space that you get stuck, so if you ever hit it, just jump over the top of it. So it's basically these big buildings over here on the right. So usually right here on the other side of this train is usually two golems. There is one out there right now. I don't see the other one. But basically if you come up here, now you can start exploring. If you go, if you go up those ladders right there, you'll, you will see uh, those stairs and go inside you'll see some stuff. But you'll also start capturing it. So I'm going to stay right outside this fence. Otherwise, I'll be against you. Okay. And then once you've actually captured it, well, it only has to be 50% captured. It'll spawn some random guns. Usually nothing special. It'll usually be like a an Uzi, uh, one of the shotguns, and or, or maybe a couple of shotguns, and the Piper Sniper, which is like a single shot sniper. But if you don't have anything, it's better than nothing. And you can always sell them and get other stuff. Plus, you can usually find ammo and other stuff like that. While you're doing that, I'm going to go play with these golems over here. Let's see how much right, ammo yeah. I got. Um... So, will it respawn so you can go in and capture it as well, or? Um, actually, once it's spawned, I can come in there because it won't matter because it's already spawned. Okay. Technically, though, I would have to go in there and I'd have to capture it, and then, yes, it would respawn. Okay. But I'd have to bring it down and then bring it back up, if that makes sense. <laughs>
What percentage are you at? I'm at 16%. Okay. It may take a while capturing by yourself. I should have thought of that and just switched tribes when we were back at Lakeside. That's the only place you can switch tribes. Yeah, I could have switched tribes. Um, I just chose one randomly. It didn't matter to me. Yeah, that's what I do too. I just like whatever it is. The only way you'll get in trouble and you can't switch tribes is if you kill your own tribe's mates and then you get like a bad reputation and you get penalized for it. Alright, so you're about like 35% now? Yeah, I'm at 35. Okay. So once you get there um, to 50%, they'll spawn, so we'll be good then. You've captured it. Let's see what guns are around. So there's usually some upstairs, and sometimes there's some in the bottom of in the back of these uh, trucks down here. I don't see any in the trucks. So an Uzi, they actually call it Uzi now, they used to call it a Has 3, a Smith & Risley, a shotgun. Sorry about that. Um, no, that's fine. I, my boyfriend had me join Xbox Live Party, so now they're on the stream, I guess, as well. Oh, okay. So I had to turn down the volume. <laughs> gotcha. So, here's a shoddy. Okay. And over here, a Smith and Risley nine millimeter and a Uzi, which is your has three. And there should be one or two more up here. Unless you picked them up already. No, I haven't touched them yet. Okay, yeah. So here is a can gun and is that another Smith and Risley underneath? Or another Uzi. And sometimes they'll spawn out here, but I think that's probably probably it. And you can have these. I don't I don't use either one of these two guns. I'll probably just uh, sell them. So, like with the, if you ever sell the Smith and Risleys or the, uh, the Uzis or whatever, then you know, unload them because they have nine millimeter ammo in it. If you can't pick it up, I'll just pick it up. Why does it say I'm too heavy now? I just had them a minute ago. 
That is weird. It's probably just glitching. How how can I be too heavy? Yeah, um, I was just uh, holding shift and E, and it worked for me. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. All right, so if you're feeling confident with your flying, we can fly down from here. Note this: so the other guy's at like Lakeside, and Lakeside's compromised, so he's trying to repair it by himself with a butter knife. So okay. don't don't fall because if you do you're going to be in lakeside with a butter knife. And if you're that concerned just take the stairs. Yay. <laughs> you saved it at the very end. I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> Uh, you pulled it out. That's the main thing. Because you you did not want to be at, at Lakeside with the butter knife right now. It would not be too fun. That was a good save, man. That was a good save. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Alright, so let's go cash these in. Or storm or whatever you want to do. And then it's late enough, I'm going to have to call it a night for the stream. Okay. And you got more people in your stream anyway than I do. They all abandoned me. They left me all alone. Oh. We'll definitely get you some more viewers next time, though. Oh, I'm sure your stream's more fun than mine. That's okay, though. Oh, it's pretty quiet in mine. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I hopped over there the real quick while I was waiting for you. There was, like, about, I think, eight people or something in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just all silent right now. I think they're all playing their own games. They uh, lurk in my chat, so. Ah, gotcha. They're stalkers. Yeah. <laughs> See? Then they can st join the stalkers tribe. I missed one of the people's... That's one of the things I have a hard time monitoring chat sometimes. So I missed one of the people, so they probably thought I was ignoring them. Which, I wasn't so sorry yeah I get like that too sometimes I, if I'm in an intense game I won't pay attention to the chat as much and someone will talk and they'll be like why are you ignoring me and I'm like I'm sorry alright I'm going to do a real quick close out for my stream and for uh, because I'm going to also post these up on YouTube eventually and um, so anyone everybody thanks for watching thanks for joining us and don't forget to um, go show Giggles some love go uh, follow her on Twitch and subscribe to her YouTube channel I'll have those in the information down below and until next time this is I Run and <laughs> and we'll see you bye bye